Living with the Dead, also known as Talking to Heaven, is amazing. This was released originally in 2002. It's directed by Stephen Gyllenhaal, written by John Palmier and James Van Prague, on whom the film is based, and it stars Ted Danson as James. And this is on Amazon Prime in the UK as a two-parter. Part one and part two are separate. I don't know how it was released on television when it was when it first aired. It is about two and a half hours, maybe bordering on three hours. Because each of the two parts on Amazon are just under an hour and a half each, and despite the fact that I generally have a short attention span and I don't like really long films, I wish this was longer. I will admit that towards the end, I'd say the last 20 minutes or so were very slow. They were trying to create suspense to hold on to the mystery for as long as possible. It could have been a little bit shorter there, but in general, I would have loved this to have been longer. I absolutely adored pretty much every second of this. James is starting to reconnect with part of his his life from when he was a boy. He used to see spirits and he learned to shut them out. But as an adult, he started to see them again. And he's initially not wanting this to happen, but he meets the spirit of a, a young boy. And this young boy is trying to tell him something about what happened to him, about how he died. And there are a lot of mysterious elements surrounding this and James realises that this boy needs his help. He needs to help put together these pieces of the puzzle and go to the police. And I will say that the police, mostly because of the detective James talked with, he was able to convince her pretty much immediately that his gift was genuine. I feel like if the average person walked into a, a police station and said, I see dead people, let me help you solve this crime. Not because he wants to, but because basically he has no choice because these spirits are coming towards him and insisting that he helps. If the average person did that, I imagine the average police officer or detective would say no. So it worked very well that Detective Condren, played by Mary Steenburgen, was very willing to listen to what he had to say and... Together, they they try and solve this crime. And I won't say too much about it, but I will say that it goes beyond the death of one boy. It's pretty colossal. And we have some amazing scenes. I mean, Ted Danson's performance is just absolutely incredible. Whenever he is being forced to live, whatever the boy went through, or whenever he's being forced to experience what a particular spirit felt before they died, what their final moments were like, and, and James feels that agony, and this really comes across in Ted Danson's performance. It's absolutely incredible. With regards to the mystery itself, I, I didn't work it out, and I feel like there are some clues, but I don't think it would be possible to work it out personally until nearer the end. Once we find out what happened, with hindsight, I could look back and say maybe there were some things in the second part that could have you know, prompted me to figure this out, but I don't think there are enough clues. Basically, if anybody is able to solve this before they do in the film, I would be very, very impressed. And I feel like that is a bit of a letdown because usually with this kind of film, you do need to be able to look back on the narrative and go, yeah, I can see all of those clues that I missed or I didn't make the connection there. And that's a well-structured, well-written narrative, whereas that's not so much the case here. But that being said, the suspense is amazing and Ted Danson's performance is pretty much perfect. Absolutely fantastic performance. I'll discuss how I felt about the ending in a moment because I'm confused with how I feel about it. Not confused with what happened, but my reaction was very... Uh, up and down, but I'll explain that with a spoiler warning in a moment. But before I get there, uh, I want to address whether or not you need to be a believer to watch this film. I am spiritual. Everything I do comes down to my spiritual belief. Everything I try to do, I try to do the right things because of my spiritual belief, as a lot of people with a religious belief do. So for me, this is everything I love. It's everything I believe in. And for me, it could have been written for me to cater to my personal tastes, put it that way. That's how much 
I connect with this narrative. So, of course, I was going to love it. As long as the narrative was done well and Ted Danson was brilliant, both of which I'm thankful are the case, then I was going to enjoy this. If you're not a believer, if you don't believe in the afterlife or with spiritual communication, you might have a hard time getting on board with this narrative. And if that's the case, that's absolutely fine. Everybody has their own beliefs. But if you don't think that this is possible, then you might not enjoy it. But to me, 100%, absolutely, I, I, this is, this is everything I believe in. This is everything that I, I, I love. This is everything that I, I think about on a regular basis. Not specifically this particular mystery, but all of the aspects of this. So for me, it, it was, it was perfection. It was everything I love presented in a film with one of my favorite actors. So I cannot complain at all, but I will acknowledge that it won't be for everybody. But if it sounds like it's for you, it's absolutely worth watching. I adored pretty much every second. So the ending, I'm not going to tell you who done it or what what the factors behind. I, I'm trying to not not give away anything else any more than I have to. I'm not going to explain what happened at the end. I'm going to explain how I felt. But if you think my response to it is a spoiler, then that's just worth bearing in mind. I have nothing else to say about the film other than absolutely amazing. Definitely check it out. So when it was revealed, I didn't work it out until the second it was revealed. And my initial reaction was, that's stupid. That doesn't, that's completely, because there were so few things throughout it pointing to that. In my opinion, apart from right towards the end, as I said, there was one thing that hinted at this. Other than that, I kind of thought that's so unexpected that it's stupid. And then I sat with the idea and I thought, okay, so you haven't necessarily planted enough clues for us to believe that this is the case. And I will admit that that's part of the narrative that I think is maybe not as well written as the rest of it. But once I actually sat with the idea, I I came to the conclusion that actually it was a, a good conclusion. It was a, a good ending. It was a, again, I am trying to not say too much without giving anything away. But initially I thought that's so unexpected, it's ridiculous. And actually, aside from the fact that they definitely needed to plant more clues throughout so that it made more sense and it didn't just come out of nowhere, it was actually pretty clever. So the actual structure of the narrative is pretty decent but we needed more throughout there. So with hindsight, we could connect the dots a little better. But other than that, I thought it was a, once I got over that initial, this makes no sense moment, it was actually a beautiful, a beautiful conclusion. So it wasn't a perfect ending. As I said, it was very, very slow as well. It's almost like they were saying, we're about to reveal it. Uh, no, we're not. Um, we're going to reveal it now. No, let's keep the suspense going a bit more. And during that time, they could have maybe planted some more clues. But again, apart from the one scene where Danson, or his character, is lying on the ground with the other victims around him and somebody comes towards him and he says, well, what's the relevance here? That's really the only significant clue with the benefit of hindsight. And we learn that so close to the reveal that they definitely needed to go back and pepper a few things throughout it but again once I got over that I actually thought yeah it, it makes sense and it's it's a pretty powerful thing so all's well that ends well or as well as can be with a mystery that's as, as dark as this one but I basically lapped up every second of this absolutely adored it talking to heaven or, or living with the dead is pretty spectacular and if it sounds like your kind of thing then it's definitely worth watching.